So people right, the release, the hands, the wrists, shuffling, compression, speed, moving through the golf ball like a great player. We're going to show you some amazing clips and angles and drills and some evidence-based instruction in this video to show you how the hands and wrists really work. How do you really pick up your angles? How do you get that shuffling and that sound and impact? If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. We're starting to reach so many people, world-class golf instruction. Let's get stuck into an incredible video here and all get on the path to playing some better golf. So people, as the release gets worse, the downswing breaks down more and more. Have a look at the handicap zero on the left of the screen and the handicap six on the right. We can see the different angles. Moving through the golf ball, have a look at the hands here of the handicap zero compared to the handicap six and it progressively gets wider, flipping, losing speed, no shaft lean. Have a look at these positions here as we see them time and time again from club players, getting wider and wider, players with no shaft lean, scraping along the ground. Guys, we're seeing some of these, unfortunately, amateur players all around the world just struggling with these positions. Now, we're going to take you through how to really release the golf club now. So great drills and exercises. Let's get stuck into it. So people, right, just have a look at this movement here. Have a look how the hands and the wrists really work in the goal swing. It's just got so many people baffled, so many people fooled. Now, what if you could feel the release of great ball strikers? What if you could actually copy or even compare the release? Well, you can. Now, have a look at this. This is what we call right wrist flexion. Have a look at this position here. This is what we call right wrist extension. Now, have a look how one side belongs to the other, how you need both to get this release working perfectly. Now, when I ask people to explain this, what they call, sometimes, oh, that we take the hands out of it. It's a passive release. And I give them a golf club. I say, explain that to me. They can't. They don't know what they're talking about. So, people, right, this is finally how you create lag, compression, speed, shaft lean, and you stop flipping it. You work with evidence-based instruction. Now, one of the free release movements that helps create your angles in the downswing is getting the end of the grip to point to the target before your hands get behind your head. Now, how many great players, how many great swings do we have to show until people really understand what's going on? It, it's a shame that amateurs, it actually gets to the point where it's, you know, unfortunately they say it's ridiculous, that amateurs are actually working on the opposite, trying to hang on to angles through the golf ball. So people, let's have a closer look at what the hands and the wrists are really doing in the golf swing. And thanks to Dr. Robert Neal from World Class Golf Instruction, who's analyzed 550 PGA Tour professionals. We have some great information. Now, in this example, we're using Dodge Kemmer from the Asian Tour. What, because the swing is like, it's technically, it's, it's unbelievable. It's very neutral. And so we've got some measurements here. I'm going to take you through what this swing and this release and how these hands move. I think you're going to find this absolutely remarkable. Now, this position prior to impact, I'm using the hack motion because hack motion have done it right. They've got now the trail wrist numbers. And I've been analyzing great plays. And it's amazing. At the top of the swing, when we put the wrist on, this is Dodger's swing here on the with the hack motion on the left. The top of the swing is around 45 to 48 degrees. And the angle just prior to impact here at P6 is the same. Now, when we get into impact, the trail wrist has still got the angle in it, but straight away after impact, watch this. Look at this, as it actually goes into a minus now. So you can see it in the video as well. Look at that right wrist. Now, now this, people, this is the drill in itself. This is what I want you guys to practice. I want you guys to practice this move. This is how you're going to end up picking up your speed, your sharp lean, and your compression. Let's get further on into a little bit of technique. We're going to be technical without being mechanical because this is absolutely fascinating before we look at some drills. So, people, obviously you can hear that sound, right? Now, my trail wrist there is in a 45-degree angle. Now, we're going to be technical here without being mechanical. In fact, we're going to use technology to create a feel and work with some facts here, right? This right wrist angle is amazing. And this is a, this trail wrist now, hack motion have done it. They've got the trail wrist angle and we can get in there and have a look and feel and get feedback where these great players really are. Have a look at this, right? Up to the top, 47, 48 degrees. I'll just hold that coming down. All right now when I lose this angle, in about 20 degrees, 25, we bring it back. 
and there's the hitting zone and you can get a really good feel there now this position when we bring in this what we're seeing with so many people is they're losing their angles here once we have this hitting zone this position here we have to learn to release it so people right how many times do we see amateurs just not being able to release the club and because of that they're throwing their angles away because if you don't release it you're going to release it early stand up i mean you're not going to just turn your hips and all of a sudden get the perfect hand motion right so when we look at what the hands are really doing when we have this type of position we can start to create more angles and then let them go later on in the downswing you guys have got to learn to when you get down to impact here you're going to get increase your angles coming down getting in into impact but on the other side we've got to let these angles go and it really is like a release you're timing it out in front here it's like a late flip all right it's like you're flipping it late you're not hanging on to stuff you know you've got to get this right wrist to move inside the averages of movement when we're looking at great players let's have a look at some drills here you got to work with evidence base instruction worldclassgolf.com we've got 1300 videos we don't even show that stuff on youtube and it's just got a library of master class series and you can get your online lessons and swing analysts with me there's no way i won't be able to help you helping people from all around the world whatsapp contact let's get stuck into really some amazing fields and drills get everyone to understand what's really happening in the golf swing so we can all get to the next level let's have a look first up at this release pattern that we're seeing with great players now for a lot of people and just bear with me for a second when you see this position right we look like we've flipped it okay but what's actually happening we are getting the inside of the lead wrist touching the inside of the right wrist and we've got the right wrist in a flex position and when you see this position here moving through the golf ball people think it's flipped but what it actually enables you to do is actually handle some angle coming down whipping that club head and that's what the release is now we've got 12 degrees of shaft lean at impact with your mid to high irons that's a pga average the closer you get to that the better you hit it so guys right got a great drill here to create your wrist and hand or more wrist and hand awareness how they work more effectively your hands and your wrists here and this is just supplies so many different feels let's go through it what we're going to do is we learn 40 percent visually and 30 percent through feel so what we're going to do is we're going to move through into the halfway position here where the right arm is parallel to the ground now what i'm looking at doing is getting your hands to look like this so the right wrist is really flexed the lead wrist is in extension now when we're moving through it's not rolled over right so we're not rolling it over but we're getting this type of uh, look to it the plane of the club's going to come out really low here as well so that's not spoken about enough as it really promotes a low delivery here we take a practice swing just swing back over the ball just creating feels like your, your drills don't change everything what the drill does is it supplies you with a feel and through that feel you hit balls and then you can change but you've got to look down at your hands so from this position here firstly just get into the position you can see the three fingers here i'm going to swing back over the ball keep it nice and soft now so much speed comes out of your hands and your wrist you know how we we see unfortunately players losing a bit of angle here and coming through the ball watch what happens when my right wrist moves into a flex position and the lead wrist this is what's into extended position this is what's happening so from there take your a swing over the golf ball and try and get the club to swoosh out in front here this is how we're really getting the release to work and get that shaft lean and that whip down the bottom and let's go back like that was hit it wasn't a big swing but it went a long way because your speed coming out of the hands and the wrists now for the senior players it's important as the body you know when we get over 45 years of age the body starts to really slow down but you can get your hands to move more effectively into the position do a practice swing get the club to swoosh out in front it's got that a tiny bit heavy out here in front swing back and that's getting that whip down the bottom which supplies you with 
great wrist alignments, speed. It's going to stop you from standing up. So people hack motion. What an incredible training aid this thing is. You can measure your trail wrist, your lead wrist. I've been using it on pitching. It's really helped me shallow out my entry and from the top of my swing as well. I use it with all my students. If you're a dedicated golfer, like you can get inside the PGA2 averages. You get to understand your swing a lot better when you're playing well. And uh, for me, it's an absolute must, an absolute no-brainer. You can get your discount code in the description box. So people, right, let's talk about this release, this right wrist into the flex position. We're going to talk about how it can move a little bit differently if you want to fade one a little, a little bit of a fade feel, if we want to have a little bit of a draw feel here. And we'll illustrate that a little bit with this tennis racket. Now, what a lot of people do really believe is that if you somehow just move your body, your hips in a certain way, you're all of a sudden going to get one of the most dynamic release patterns that there is. And it doesn't happen like that. So when you're looking at the world's best players, right, they play junior golf, they're probably the most skilled, some of the most skilled athletes out there. Their hands and wrists are just incredible how they use them, right? So, you know, for those type of players, how they use their body is really, really important. But for club players and a lot of amateur players, I'm not talking about leading amateur players, I'm talking about a lot of normal golfers around the world, the body isn't the most important thing, it's your hands and your wrists. And you've got to steal a little bit of information here and get closer. It doesn't just happen just because you move your hips in a certain way. It doesn't, right? It, I've done 40,000 lessons with high-speed cameras in, in three different countries. It doesn't happen that way. Let's talk about a little bit of a fade release here. Now, I'm just going to hit this. I'll just hit it through this way. We're going to hit the tennis, sorry, the golf ball with the tennis racket up. Now, I'm going to get my right wrist. Now, this is a bit more of a fade feeling here. Now you can see my right wrist, it's a little bit more of an underneath, but we're not, we're never rolling it over. And this is one of the things people are confused about when they see this position with the fingers like this, the three fingers of the glove, they think it's somehow really rolled over. It needs just some incredible timing to it. It's the golf swing. It's what we need, right? Now, if you're going to draw one a little bit here, what we're going to do is we're going to get a feeling that it's coming out a little bit lower. But the right wrist, I'm not hitting it then under and up. I'm going to be hitting a little bit more level, right? I think I got that one on the frame. So you can see that the right wrist is moving. There we go. A little bit more level. It's not as, as under. And so this is the way when you're hitting a draw, you're going to get the feeling that it's not as underneath, but you're still getting that flexed position through the golf ball. Get up into the end position. Just hold the position. All right, so that's where we learn 40% visually, we learn 30% through feel. So by getting yourself into a position here, we're exaggerating it just slightly. Get the grip, or feel like the grip's pointed up. Have a look at your lead wrist, and how does it feel? Get your knees together, get a little bit of side bend. Now from this position here, what you can do, what's really effective to create some feels, your own personal feels, is swing back from here, and then through. And you can even close your eyes, just gathering feelings here as this end of this grip points up. You might want to feel like the club swooshes out 20 or 30 centimetres in front of the ball. Right? That'll really pick up some angles in your downswing here, moving through and into the position. Now, what you can do is start from this position, get up to the top, right? swing back and give it a hit and mimic, create, copy, imitate. So hi everyone and welcome to World Class Golf Instruction, your swing analyst. I don't believe many people understand what this online training does, how effective that it is. It's simply the same as the YouTube videos, except with your swing on the screen. Your online swing analyst will go somewhere between 15 to 30 minutes, tailored drills and exercises, uh, cutting edge information, a higher level of instruction. I'm doing it personally at a cheaper price and getting you on the path of playing better golf. Now we've got Zoom calls, we have Skype calls, we have WhatsApp contact. You can ask as many questions as you like. It's your golf, it's important. I'm very passionate about online lessons. I've been teaching tour pros, top amateurs, juniors, higher handicap players, everybody around the world, people that are taking these online swing analyst lessons and that are involved in world-class golf and the masterclass series have been improving their games between four and 11 shots on average and that's the honest truth. 
People get stuck into it. It's such an effective way to train. People don't realize what this swing analyst actually does. So guys, get on the platform, jump on there. I'm really looking forward to improving you, answering those unanswered questions and getting you on the path to playing your best golf.